Thanks for coming over, this is Amadeus. In today's Alune video, I wanna look at the recently updated Balder. Now, if you haven't read through the patch notes, there is a link in the description for you so that you can get caught up. Now, as you might know, if you have read the patch notes, Balder got some very solid buffs and skill changes to make him more of a legendary DPS Alune. Now, they did this in a really cool way though, uh, that's much more tied to like his storyline and much more tied to the nature of him as an Alun, and I really dug that, right? So what they did is they really tied his active and passive skills directly to the nature debuff Blaze. Um, so I think it's gonna be important to start there. So let's look at Blaze before we talk about anything else. Okay, so the status effect Blaze is a nature debuff, right? So keep in mind that if you have some bosses or some Maloon targets that are gonna have high nature resistance, it's gonna affect your ability to apply Blaze, which is going to affect the rest of his skills. But ultimately what Blaze does is it's soul damage equal to 15% of current HP when receiving a turn, right? So it deals extra soul damage, which is amazing. Now max damage can exceed three times the attack of the caster. So we wanna make sure we have lots and lots of attack, especially with gems and gear for Balder. Not a stretch though, right? Because he's supposed to be a legendary DPS. Now with bosses, he's only gonna deal one fifth of the damage that he normally would. So keep that in mind, you're not gonna be able to just like apply a bunch of stacks of blaze and uh, tear bosses down. Or maybe you can and maybe we should test that. Maybe if you've done that in the comments below, let me know. Because actually now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what those what those ticks could be, but it, that might be interesting to find out because I know the bleed works really, really well. But that might be interesting to find out. Okay, so let's talk about Balder's skills. Now, I think that whenever we're talking about an Alune skills, we have to start with the passives because it's kind of the foundation of my personal opinion around everything else that has to do with the skills. So if you look at Dragon Knight's convention, or Conviction, Balder receives the Flame Dragon's Grace, which makes him immune to Blaze. Fantastic. Can't be hurt by Blaze. Boom. Increases attack by 20% when there's an enemy affected by Blaze on the battlefield. Now, in the comments below, if you have the dirt on this, let me know. But based on how I'm reading that, you get a 20% increase in attack if there's anybody on the opposing side of the field that has Blaze, right? It's not the enemy you're targeting, it's anybody on the other side having Blaze, boom, 20% attack boost. That's outstanding. Uh, the second uh, passive, Flame Armor. Baldur's Dragon Flames engulf and protect him and set clumsy enemy attacks ablaze. Reduces enemy damage received from enemies afflicted with blaze by 20%. Reduces damage received from enemies afflicted with blaze by 20%. Yeah, I said it twice because it's that big. He is so much more tanky if he goes first and lands blaze. That's amazing. 20% damage mitigation. I'm really excited to test that out. Now, when he does get hit, he inflicts the nature effect that causes blaze on the attacker for three turns. So here's a stack of blaze. Boom. You hit me, and you're going to do less damage, and you're going to get a stack of blaze. And now, because you have that stack, my damage goes up 20% on everybody on the field, which is awesome. I'm so excited to, to see what that does. Uh, flame Dragon's Incarnation. Awakens into the incarnation of the Silver Flame Dragon at the Flame Dragon Apex. There is some story here I don't know about, um, but I bet it's amazing. I love that flavor text. Uh, increases crit rate by 20% against enemies afflicted by Blaze. So this is against enemies. So this isn't battlefield wise, this is enemy specific, right? And that's important, especially if you're doing manual, who you're gonna target with your skills, that's really important. But you get a 20% crit boost. Now, when an enemy attack lands as a crit uh, on an enemy affected with Blaze, it sets off those blaze flames to deal an additional 15% soul damage. So you're already doing 15% just because they have blaze. You're gonna do another 15 when you uh, crit on them. So crit is gonna be important. So that that's really gonna tie into the rest of the skills. But you can see like they're like from the passive abilities, everything's really concentrated around blaze. And the nice thing is, is that blaze is sticking around and not being removed which is just huge. Um, but I think that it's important to like also see how that ties into his active skills. So let's go ahead and take a look at his active skills real quick. Um, and then we can start talking about gear. So his normal attack, pincer attack, uses a fiery blade and the flame dragon's pincer attack to strike the enemy three times, dealing a lot of damage and inflicting blaze for three turns. So his normal attack in 
inflicts blaze. That's important. Another stack of blaze. Fire Whirl. Slashes at the air to open up a rift between time and space and create a blazing gust filled with destructive forces. That's so awesome. Strikes all enemy five times, dealing a ton of damage and inflicting uh, blaze for four turns. So now, if they hit you, they get a stack of three. If you use your normal skill, they get a stack of three turn or a stack of blaze for three turns. And then if you use Fire Whirl, everybody has a chance of getting a stack of blaze for four turns. Um, Flame Dragon's Rage becomes one with the Flame Dragon to embody destruction itself, running rampant throughout the earth, strikes the enemy two times, dealing a total of insane amounts of damage, and increases damage by 30% for each blaze. Now stop. Increases damage by 30% for each blaze on the enemy. <laughs> awesome. When an enemy in blaze status is defeated, Flames Dragon Rage is used without consuming soul, so it uses the power automatically for free again on a random target. And this effect is only triggered once. And I will tell you that this is why it's so important to read through the passives and then to read through the skills to understand how to gear them. Because the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw this is the idea that I'm going to throw greater spirit gear on my in-game balder. So he has a chance to get an extra turn because spirit gear gives you a 15% chance to act again. So in my head, I was just like, wait a minute. He's going to use his ultimate, kill someone, use his ultimate again, possibly get another turn to use his flame world to apply more blaze, right? And now he, you can swap another turn out and have him go again because you can spam uh, fire world over and over and over and over, right? Every turn, as long as you have four souls, you can do it. So I was just like, wow, <laughs> like that is so amazingly broken, awesome. Um, now I don't have that great spirit gear that probably a lot of the players out there uh, that are testing this out right now do. What I have is um, some mediocre BJ gear and I put him on BJ because he does get a crit bonus. Um, when he's uh, in a full set, he gets a crit bonus. It's 30% against weakened, um, weakened enemies. So uh, the three set gives him a 50% crit power boost for two turns when defeating an enemy. And if you think about it, we just talked about an ultimate skill that gets boosted when you kill someone and goes again. Well, now it gets boosted with an additional 50% attack power because of that. So in my head, I'm immediately from a strategy standpoint, I'm just like... This is awesome. Like I have to get, um, I have to get this lined up just right. You know, like when we're when we're in those teams, because if I can apply Blaze, and I can take out a guy with Blaze, and I still have somebody on the battlefield with Blaze, I'm I'm getting a twenty percent increase. If I got way way on the team, that's a ninety percent increase. I'm like, there's there's definitely some damage that can be done, but I need to be able to use them to place with multiple targets. Uh, that's kind of in a controlled environment um, that isn't heavy resistance in nature. And a great spot to do that is over in Chaos Tower. Now, I did get a, I did get a request previously to talk about uh, teams to get through Chaos Tower. So I just went ahead and went into uh, Chaos Tower level 55. So let's switch over there real quick. All right, so um, we're going into 55. Now, my entire Chaos Tower team is based on the idea that I want to Rezzer in Fabian, I want to tank. Uh, I use Fahrenheit because I'm fortunate enough to have Fahrenheit. I want to have crowd control, so I use Reyna. I want Weiwei's buff and her heal, and then we're utilizing um, Balder for our DPS. So it's pretty straightforward as far as this goes. I'm going to lock down Kai, right? Because he, he will just kill us. Uh, he'll kill the tank immediately if you give him the chance. Um, and then I'm just going to beat everybody down a little bit um, because of the soul stone change in, in corrupt, corrupted armor. So my, uh, Raina doesn't get to stun everybody. So we have to be able to survive for me. We have to be able to, uh, survive this initial onslaught. And now I'm just, I'm just going to start locking down other people until I get the refresh. Um, and it's like, I'm going to choose people that aren't hitting my tank. Right. And then I'm going to attack or heal my tank. I should probably healed right there. Um, and then here I'm going to go ahead and I thought about doing the attack buff, but I'm actually going to use your second skill so that everybody heals because it's way better to survive. Now, Fire Whirl. Let's go. Fire Whirl. Hits everybody. 
see all the blaze the green little box that's all blaze that's that's there you go lots of blaze so i already know i'm gonna get a 20 percent attack increase boom man it just that fire world is so awesome <laughs> okay and, and i'll be honest like i'll uh, like from this standpoint i need to i need to uh heal some, i need to heal fahrenheit um i need to lock people down i got <laughs> heal fahrenheit getting so excited with fire world i'm just gonna let fahrenheit die we'll wipe out the entire team that'd be awful um fabian what what are you doing what, what's going on here why are we no 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 we switched switch turn i wanted to heal <laughs> what are you doing i wanted to oh man what is what is that a uh, defense down or magic defense down magic defense down that's from the electric cage okay i didn't recognize that for a second not on, not on Fahrenheit. I'm not used to him. <laughs> not used to him having debuffs on him. So, all right. So let's get let's get back to it. So, throw a little bit of that action on there. Let's uh, let's uh, yeah, this will be what we want to do. Let's go ahead and put that uh, attack buff on here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get everybody. Man, seriously, like. Come on, look at that damage. Holy cow. And uh, that was additional damage from the Soul Stone. Or from the... the those, that was additional damage from the Blaze. And that was Soul Damage. Gosh. Man, he's 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 going to be so amazing. And then... Uh, I bet you if we... Hold on, let's see. Can we, can we get rid of this dude over here? And then I need you to take. I need you to. I need you to take them out. Come on, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Boom! Nice. Sorry, headphone users. Okay, now we're gonna use the. Now we're gonna use the ultimate. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! 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 Stop! Oh! Oh! Two hundred and ninety thousand damage. Oh, I am so excited about this. So excited. Wow. Okay. Good. Good update. Great update. You know. Good job, Dame. <laughs> I am. That is insane. Oh man, I am super stoked about that. Let me know in the comments below what uh, what you think about the update. As always, thanks for watching the videos. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.